guys, so I wanted to make a video to talk about all the nitty gritty features of this new 7.8 inch gauge by Skidoo, and maybe some of the features that you haven't seen online, or something that would be pretty difficult to find in the uh, operator's manual. So first of all, as you can see, there's two separate screens. The left screen will show you your engine temperature, your gas mileage, your odometer, and your speed. And the right gauge will show you your RPM and your music, or that can also be your BRP Connect view, where you can be in any of the apps that are supported by BRP Go when your phone is plugged in via cord in the glove box. Now on this left screen, um, you can also have the opportunity to see a digital readout of your temperature as well as a digital readout of your battery voltage. So how you do that is you click the settings button right here and that will show you that's your engine temperature and then you push it again and it will show you your battery voltage. Okay. Now if we want to go to settings, we're going to hold this button down and now we've launched into the settings menu. So this is the button you'd click if you want to go into BRP Connect, if your phone is connected via USB. Then you have your phone settings. So when your helmet is connected, you can see your caller list as well as your contacts. Now here's the stats and trips settings. As you can see on the left side right now, it's showing me my total kilometers. If you want it to show a specific trip, A or B, you have to look at this diagram here. So this diagram will show you how to operate the joystick. So if you want to select A to be shown on your left screen, you're going to hold the jog dial up and now it's going to show on your left screen. And if you want to switch to total, you hold up again and now it switches to total. And then also, as you can see, if you hold, put hold down on any of them, it's going to reset your trip. Okay. Now, what other settings do we have? So. Now we have music. So if you click this, you can see the music you're listening to, and then you can go back, forward, pause it, change the volume, all of that stuff. Now we also have more settings. So you can change your clock, either 24 hour or 12 hour. I like 12 hour. And then you can save that. Uh, Bluetooth to connect your phone and your comm system. Then for display, you can either manually change the brightness all through the jog dial, which I'm doing right now, or you can choose a mode. So automatic mode, what that does is when it's dark, right now I'm in the trailer, so it's pretty dark, uh, it shows this dark mode. And when it's really bright outside, it will show this light mode. I'm trying to find a good angle for you to see that. Yeah, it, it's very, very bright, so I wouldn't be worried about seeing the gauge in mid in the midday. Now, we also have... I'm going to change it back to automatic because this hurts my eyes. There. Now, on top of this, we have units, so you can change uh, if you want it in miles per hour. You'll click that, and you'll see that change to miles per hour. But you can also have it in metric, which is what I like to have it on because I'm in Canada. Language, you can change languages, um, and then you also have this fault code feature, so it will read out um, the fault code that you have on your machine, which you can tell your dealers so they're better able to help you. Now, as you've noticed, when you open this setting screen or BRP Connect on the right side, your RPM goes in the center of that little circle on the left. So regardless of if you're using that screen for BRP Connect or not, all your precious information will be on the left side of the gauge. Okay guys, that was a video on the gate. Thanks for watching.